What is bile? Bile ta ki? Kotha ta ki bile ta asche? From where? Liver. Achha. Ego, ego, ego. Shesha dikhe. Shesha dikhe. Jau, jau. Are two. Are two. Are two. Bas, bas, bas. Ek. Achha. Mota moti ye idea ta the bile is secreted from liver and bile is stored in gallbladder. These two idea you have to understand. Bile is secreted from liver and bile is stored in gallbladder. So there has been some inherent difference between liver bile and gallbladder bile. Eta prosno ashe porikhate. Je liver bile, what is the difference between liver bile and gallbladder bile? Lekha dorkani ektu pora ami likhiye dichi. Just ki ki question asse par ei jaga theke. One is that, the second is the function of bile. That is very important. Bile doesn't have any digestive enzyme, yet it helps in digestion of food. It will have to explain why. This is also an explain why question. So function of bile or a sub, sub question from here that bile doesn't contain any digestive enzyme, yet it helps in digestion of lipids or digestion of food. This is an, another ex, explain why question. What else? Constituents of bile. Miscelli formation, miscelli formation, that is also a part of function of bile, but it can come as a short note. Cholerectic cholagog, duto. I, I will mention in, in, in a short while, okay. And clinical physiology related to bile, okay. So, first we are starting. So, bile the characteristic of bile, you can write characteristic, kub chotor modde will be completing. Characteristic since very few people are there, it will be better to take notes. So characteristic of bile, it is secreted from liver, you can just write secreted from liver. Greenish yellow in color, greenish yellow in color. Why this is important? What is the color of gastric juice? Gastric juice are color ki? Anybody? Gastric juice, the color yellow. Bile greenish. Can you important? Occasionally, the patient will come to you and say that, or tell uh, uh, that I am vomiting greenish color liquid, or I am vomiting yellowish color liquid, or I am vomiting watery liquid. This is also a very important piece of information. So the color, if if he is saying that I am vomiting a greenish color liquid. Most likely, there is some amount of bile which is coming out through vomitus. If he says, no, this is only yellow color, no greenish color, most likely the gastric juice is being regurgitated. If it is just simply watery, most likely saliva or non-gastric part. That much gastric juice is not present. This is important. So whenever a patient will come to you, any history, if you are taking a history of a vomiting, Color of the vomitus, the substance that is coming out, very important. Constituents of the vomitus, whether raw food, whatever he has taken is coming out or digested or partially digested food is coming out or something is coming out, you can't understand the texture. All of these are important points. Clear everybody? Okay. Next, the pH of bile, pH is, physical, is usually 7 to 8, pH is 7 to 8, so more or less neutral. Bile is more or less neutral. From where it is secreted? Hepatocyte. So, jekhane liver likhe cho, okhane likhe dao, it is secreted from hepatocyte. Now, there is a difference between liver bile and gallbladder bile. Before that, look at the picture. The fonts may not be visible to you, but what is visible to you, at least these few things are properly visible to you. You need to identify the function and the pathway. So this is the liver. Any doubt? No doubt, basically. This is the gallbladder, this sac-like structure, green sac-like structure. Now in liver, what happens? Every hepatocyte drains and ultimately it forms the hepatic duct. Hepatic duct con conglomerate from the right side, hepatic duct conglomerate from the left side. So what we get? Right hepatic duct, left hepatic duct. Once we get it, this joins with each other and forms common hepatic duct. Now this common hepatic duct is almost here. This is suppose right hepatic duct, left hepatic duct forms the common hepatic duct and it comes down. 
gallbladder it also has a duct almost the point where the pointer is this is a duct this duct is known as gallbladder duct or cystic duct cystic duct and common hepatic duct when they join they form common bile duct this common bile duct actually opens into the second part of the duodenum and there is a structure over there this area is known as sphincter of body it is a structure sphincter of body it helps or whenever it is open bile will move into the intestine when it, whenever it is closed and constricted bile will not move over there so functionally properly working function, sphincter of body is very important and this area is known as ampulla this area is known as ampulla another structure very important which opens up in this area that is pancreatic duct pancreatic duct pancreatic duct basically protect jinish protect jinish close to that area opens up in the second part of the duodenum and in, in duodenum so if we if we think from the previous classes basically duodenum receives the acidic chyme and then acidic chyme further down the path further distally in the duodenum we have this bile we have this intestinal juice we have pancreatic juice all three acting on the food that is the whole pathway now you can see what is what is happening bile is being formed over here it is coming down a part of the bile a portion of the bile being stored it is also coming down so bile is coming simultaneously from the liver and simultaneously from the gallbladder at various points and after that what happens it comes down into the intestine and from the distal intestine that is very important from the distal intestine a portion of this bile again goes back into the circulation and ultimately reaches the liver this circulation is not the systemic circulation but the portal circulation circulation are ki ki jano tumra what is systemic circulation what is pulmonary circulation what is portal circulation systemic ki bolo eigulo to bolte paro bangla tei bolo kono oshubidha nei ha ha jorei bolo jore bolo keno oshubidha nei bhulo jodi bolo jore bolo kichu lok bhabbe thik i bolcho happens ha jore bolo left ventricle aorta theke inferior vena keba superior vena keba keno ki kore hocche very good okay you are correct you are correct this is systemic circulation okay pulmonary circulation okay return return actually re, it returns back to the left atria from their left ventricle and back to the systemic circulation if it is in the uh, left ventricle definitely it will go to the aorta and the systemic circulation very good common thing in both the circulation he has mentioned about heart twice correct even in systemic circulation he has mentioned about heart in pulmonary circulation again he has mentioned about heart it means heart takes part, takes a particular prominent place in both the circulation it is systemic and pulmonary what is portal what is portal circulation then portal circulation the striking difference between what this two circulation and portal circulation is portal circulation is a circulation between two organs it can be any organs wherever in our body portal circulation is present so between two organs bypassing the heart so in portal circulation heart is not there even without the heart portal circulation happens so here portal circulation entero hepatic circulation dekho ei gota circulation the circulation is this from here back to here where is heart heart is nowhere in the picture got the point portal circulation due to organ and mode circulation jekhane heart er kono ongsho grohon nei portal circulation is a circulation between two organs without the participation of heart clear everybody ha kothay kothay portal circulation thakte pare where are the where do we have portal circulation in our body multiple areas ekta this enterohepatic circulation another portal circulation is present just the below lower part of the esophagus another portal circulation is present in the recto anal junction 
another portal circulation is present in pituitary hypothalamus. So hypothalamus, hypophysial area, there is also another portal circulation. Just matha hai raka, kothai kothai, keo jodhi if somebody ask you, kothai hai chada portal circulation ache, around rectum, lower part of it, around esophagus, lower part of it, enterohepatic and pituitary hypothalamus. These are the basic. In the exam, if you just can say these basics, you will be given good marks. Eight I loke bolte parche na. Clear hello idea? This is the portal circulation. What is portal circulation? Heart is not involved in portal circulation. Okay? Clear everybody? Okay. So, by now you already know that due to this circulation, enterohepatic circulation, we have some degree of recycling. Dekchi, if I have this. Can you see this? Huh? I, I will read it out if you can't see basically. Uh, so this is the composition of bile. Don't worry, you need not remember all the points over here. Certain important points you have to get, uh, you have to identify and only those will be asked in the exam. By now, read out you will see components of bile, it is liver bile. Can you read this word, liver bile? Porte parcho ki parcho na? You can speak out, no problem. Bolle amaro shubida hai. I pratek bara ma ke gure dekte hai na chakete. If somebody speaks out, it is easy. It is gallbladder bile. Okay. And what is the component? Any any intestinal juice, any bile, any gastric juice. Last class I told, make the component divided into water and solids. And the solids will be further divided into organic and inorganic. Organic will have its own uh, list. Inorganic will have cations and ions. That's the basic structure of all of them. Only difference is somebody is having more alkaline, somebody is having more acidic, somebody is having particular ions in a more, or somebody is having more cholesterol, kind of that. That's the only difference. Now coming back, the liver bile contains water close to 98 gram per deal, 97 gram per deal, it is almost 98 percent. It is not a good thing, it is a point to look at the tool. Liver bile is having 97.5 gram per deal, whereas gallbladder bile is having 92 gram per deal. Talking about water, what does this signify? That means gallbladder bile is more concentrated. Gallbladder bile is more concentrated. Now coming to the bile salts. Liver bile is having 1.1 gram per dl, gallbladder bile is having 6 gram per dl. Again, it is definitely more concentrated. Hobby, Karun, what is happening in gallbladder? So, what happens in gallbladder? Water is absorbed, preferentially more absorbed in gallbladder wall than the solids. So, therefore, the solids, level of the solids will go up, level of water will come down. So, definitely the gallbladder bile is more concentrated. Coming down just for uh, our note, bilirubin 0.04 gram per dl, it is 0.3 gram per dl, close to 12 times, 0.04 take a 3, 0.3, so close to 12 times more concentration in case of bilirubin. Then cholesterol you can see 0.1 gram per dl, it is 0.3 to 0.9, so you can take average 5 to 6 times it has increased, minimum. Then fatty acid 0.12, this is 0.3 to 1.2, it is also increased, fatty acid is also increased. Lecithin, it is also increased, 0 0.04, 0 0.3. Sodium, 145, potash, uh, sodium in gallbladder, it's a little less, 130. Definitely, water move kore, sodium move kore. So, water jodi beri ye jai, sodium ki chuta beri ye The opposite is also true. Sodium move kore, water move kore. Because this is due to the osmolar property. Now, next, potassium. It is 5 milli equivalent in gallbladder while it is 12 milli equivalent. This is some point you need to remember. That potassium more in gallbladder while than liver while. Value mone rakte hove na. It is impossible in human to remember value. E rakom value gulo. Calcium, 5 milli equivalent, it is 23 milli equivalent. Chloride, 100 milli equivalent, this is something which comes in the MCQ. Chloride is less in gallbladder bile, it is 25 milli equivalent. So, otherwise, kya tumi shopta porcho bolte thakcha, chloride dhotal e nishchoi bere gache, no? Chloride is less and bicarb, 28 milli equivalent in gallbladder bile, it is 10 milli equivalent. So, two anions, they are low. Chloride is low in gallbladder bile, bicarb is low in gallbladder bile, 
it it generates two mcqs bicarb low mane ki less basic so it is more acidic so gallbladder bile is more acidic and more concentrated that's the point tumra e gulo porikkhate arrow diye diye likhe dilo cholbe liver bile water more gallbladder bile water less sufficient value mone rakhte hobe na porikkhate so basic idea ta clear rakhbe somosto content gulo barche in gallbladder bile bicarb chloride ei dutu anion kome jacche jol kome jacche so it is concentrated and it is acidic रिमेम्बर दिस इज अ फाइव मार्क क्वेश्चन कम्पोनेंट अफ और कम्पेरिजन विटुईन जिबी बल एंड लिवर बल यदम इम्पोर्टेंट कोश्चन जो बीते आईटा जो टुकते ही एम कि नए टेक होम मेसेजाई नो कमिंग टू कन्स्टिटुएंस अफ लिवर बल से कन्स्टिटुएंस अफ लिवर बल ओके constituents of liver bile so first is the bile salt bile salt what is bile salt basically bile salt is the salt of bile acid it will be either sodium salt or potassium salt ki ki acid ache glycocolic acid tocolic acid so colic acid chenodeoxycolic acid these are the acids egulo jokhon tomar salt form e jacche that is the bile salt egulo class 12 theke tumra more or less you have uh, known so this is sodium or potassium salt of bile acid now there are two types of bile salts one is primary so primary bile acids secondary bile acid primary bile acid kon gulo acids which are synthesized in liver so primary bile acid synthesized in liver ki ki ache cholic acid chenodeoxycholic acid so primary bile acid these are synthesized in liver this ki ki ache chenodeoxycholic and cholic so chenodeoxycholic acid and cholic acid secondary bile acid these are synthesized in intestine synthesized in intense intestine who are they deoxycholic acid deoxycholic acid and lithocholic acid so these are important mcqs so secondary bile acid synthesized in intestine if you want to know more this is synthesized by intestinal bacteria after working on the short chain fatty acid which is coming from the food over there sob samay mathay rakhbe our body is not a body of a single person millions and trillions of microbes are residing in and on our body so we are we are actually a system so gutter moddhe there is my flora where multiple bacteria are residing in our gut i don't know what happens whenever we are taking antibiotics in irrational way they are killing the harmful bacteria also the helpful bacteria inside our gut which actually disrupts the gut ecosystem so you know rational prescription is very much important a bacteria will help kore therefore there is a concept of probiotic probiotic ta ki सपोज तुम्हारा जानो जो डायरि लुज मोशन वेन एवर इट इज हैपनींग डिव टू सार्टन बैक्टीरिया सार्टन इनफेक्टिव कज वन वे टू ट्रीट इट उथ एंटीबायोटिक एंटीबायोटिक इज द मेडिकेशन उच उल किल दि बायोटा बायोटा मीन्स बैक्टीरिया और एनी एनी एलाइव स्मल माइक्रोस्ट्रक्चर दि अदार इज प्रोबायोटिक प्रोबायोटिक इज बैक्टीरिया इट सेल्फ सो उन् अल्सो ट्रीट इट उथ सार्टन कैंड अफ बैक्टीरिया उ कैन गिव दम सार्टन कैंड अफ बैक्टीरिया हाउ इट उल बी हेल्पफुल yes what will happen whenever we are taking helpful bacteria the number of bacteria inside the gut will be much higher overall level of nutrition will remain the same so the new helpful bacteria will compete with the harmful bacteria for the same amount of nutrition basically the harmful bacteria will die because survival of the fittest 
understood so this is also a technique by which we can take uh, we can treat diarrhea this technique is known as or this particular medication is known as probiotic onake biogat by type er onek gulo medicine ache bifilac have you heard of lactobacillus you have heard of this so we use lactobacillus for this purpose diarrhea thik korar jonno antibiotic charao these are the options by which we can treat okay now bile acids are basically this and bile acid jeta hocche usually it's a 24 carbon structure bile acid is a 24 carbon structure function of bile acid function of bile acid one function is emulsification and another function is micelle formation what is emulsification emulsification is bigger molecule i am breaking it down into smaller molecule just try to understand jodi ami ekta food particle or a big fat lipid particle if i can break it down in smaller particles will it be helpful for absorption or not boro particle absorb hoa shubida na choto particle absorb hoa shubida choto particle so particle gulo ke jodi ami bhenge choto 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 kore dite pari then it is helpful clear so ei jinish ta ki kore hoy this is done by changing the surface tension on the bigger particle there is no lipase enzyme inside bile no enzyme which is breaking down the lipid structure what it does they, it makes some change in the surface tension so bigger particle is changed into smaller particles smaller particle hole the absorption gets better so emulsification is basically bigger particle converted to small particle which improves the rate of absorption what is micelle formation micelle formation is ekhane ekta important thing bile is amphipathic in nature what does that mean it has both hydrophilic and hydrophobic structure hydrophilic and hydrophobic structure seta ki kore kaaj korche so hydrophobic phobic and hydrophilic structure if both of them are present in the same molecule so how it will look it will look like this just like the phospholipid structure this area is hydrophobic and the outside area is hydrophilic similarly the innermost area is also hydrophilic so how it will help what do you think intestinal secretion is it an aqueous secretion or lipid secretion 